Hello and welcome to Web Dementors YouTube channel and you're watching programming in Java series for beginners. So in this video, we're going to see about introduction to IDE. So as we have seen already, IDE is essential for Android application development and this course being a course that's going to lead you into the Android application development course. We need to know about IDEs in order to start programming. So what is an IDE? IDE is Integrated Development Environment. So the abbreviation of IDE is Integrated Development Environment and it is a tool or an application that provides facilities for programmers or developers in order to make their work so easy. So there are a lot of free IDEs available on the internet that you can download. So it's going to be very easy if you type Java IDE in Google, you're going to get a lot of IDEs that you can download. So it's going to be a very big list. You have to find and download the best ID that is suitable for you. And it makes it work so easy when it comes to programming. So developers and uh, programmers use IDEs in order to make their work so easy and also reduce the time it takes for them to write a program. And it's going to increase your productivity so much that you would say that, okay, that made my life so easy. And what are the facilities that you're going to get from an ID when it comes to Java programming? So quick navigation is one of the very important features that you can find in the IDEs. So you can just jump from one program to another program, one file to another program using quick navigation systems in the IDE. So it depends on the IDE that you're going to use, but you're going to see a lot of files that is involved in your project directly on a project explorer that is to the left or the right of your IDE. So it's going to be very easy instead of using a notepad and trying to open new files or using multiple notepads in order to cross-reference files, you can easily do that in IDEs. And also completion of codes. This is one of the most used features by developers, auto completion of codes. So as you type on, the IDE will take care of completing the codes that you wanted to have in your program. So it's going to complete a lot of codes for you. So the time taken for typing the entire code will be reduced much faster. As you type more codes, you will be finding this auto completion of codes very, very important. And suggestions. It's going to give you a lot of suggestions. So at times you might feel that, okay, I forgot about this class. I forgot on this method. What is this method? So you remember at least a little bit, uh, something like you remember the three letters of a class or three letters of a method. You start typing, it goes to give you the suggestion. You find that method that you need and you click it and that's it. It's done. And refractoring of code. So refractoring is very important when it goes to a big program. So you have thousand lines of code, you find refractoring very important. And ID takes care of that. So also warning as you type, when you type the code, it's going to give you a warning when you do something wrong. So something like you miss out a semicolon or if you miss out a bracket, and it's going to warn you and ask you to do that. It also gives you a clear warning message, what you have done wrong. So one stop place for editing, compiling, and debugging. So you don't have to switch around from notepad to command prompt and command prompt to notepad in order to do those stuff. So it's going to be available in one place for you in the IDE. All you have to do is press around some buttons in order to do various stuff in the IDE. So it's going to be very easy for you. You don't have to switch or jump from one application to another application. And also, it's going to be very, very easy for you to have everything in one place. And also, there are a lot of keys, hotkeys, that you can use in order to do the process much more faster. So there is also much more effective facilities and features that is available in IDE. As you use the IDE, you will be finding a lot of facilities or features and combination of facilities makes it much more easier for you as well. So it depends on the developer or programmer, which combination that you want. And you can also develop facilities or features for the IDE. So if you become a very good programmer or developer, you can start developing features for IDE as well. So which IDE is that I have two IDEs. There are two IDEs that I would recommend, both are free of course. So one is Eclipse and the next is NetBeans. So Eclipse is one of the most used developer IDE. So it's not just for Java, yes, again, it's going to be used by a lot of developers who uses a lot of programming languages. So it can support PHP, Python, Java, C, C++. And same goes with NetBeans. NetBean also supports a lot of languages. It includes Java, PHP, Python, C, C++, HTML, and a lot of other stuff. So you can use the links. Uh, I've used the bit.ly in order to reduce the size of the link. So it's going to be bit.ly slash Eclipse IDE for Eclipse and bit.ly slash NetBeans underscore IDE 
for NetBeans. So you can see the difference in the sizes. It's 154 MB for NetClips and uh, 90 MB for NetBeans. You can download that and keep it ready. So once you go to the Eclipse site, I'm going to show you a small preview of it. This is going to be the Eclipse site. And at the time of making this video, we're having the latest version as Eclipse Luna 4.4.1. So being a basic starter or the beginner of Java developer, you have to download this distribution of Eclipse IDE for Java developers. So you can download Windows 32-bit if you're having a Windows 32-bit operating system. You can download Windows 64-bit if you are having 64-bit operating system. So it's not necessary for you to go to these distributions. At the moment, it's enough to download the normal edition, that is the Eclipse IDE for Java developers. And if you want to download NetBeans, you can use this link, which is uh, bit.ly slash NetBeans underscore IDE. And it's going to route you to this link. And you can press this download link and you will also see different distributions in NetBeans as well. And you can see that it's going to have you Java SE, Java EE, C, C++, HTML, PHP and all. So you also have an option to download all those packages in one go. And you can download the Java SE. That's enough for this course. And we are going to cover only the Java SE stuff in the basic courses that we are having. So please download it and keep it. We will see how to install these uh, IDE in your system in the next video and also set up those IDE. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this video useful, please press the like button and also share this video to your friends. And also, if you have any comments or suggestions or feedback, please feel free to share it. And you can use the comment section in this video to share it. And also in the Google+, Plus, Facebook or Twitter feed of our channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.